Hey guys, it's Spitfire again. Today, I think I'm going to turn some threads for you guys. I'm going to do, I don't know, it doesn't matter the pitch, but I'll do some standard 60 degree threads, um, go over some of the basic things for threading on a lathe. Uh, it's not too difficult. The nice thing about turning threads on a lathe is you can screw up and do it again. No, just kidding. Um, some of you guys out there that like haven't threaded before and this is something new to you, uh, it's not very difficult. It just takes a few steps and takes a few things to get it right. Um, it's just a few simple procedures. If you follow them, you're going to be golden. Um, and the nice thing about doing it yourself is you can get little pieces of scrap whatever and do it several times and kind of hone your technique and then once you're actually ready to uh, turn something that you need turned or threaded, you can do that. So it's a nice thing about doing it yourself. You can screw up and nobody will ever see you. But we're going to get going here on my Logan and you can see my fancy uh, overhead camera system there. Um, sorry if my cameras aren't that great. I'm working on getting some a better camera or two because these are not that great. And some of my last videos have been a little pixely, which is not cool. But we'll get threading here and show you how to do this whole giddy right, up. So I'm going to show you how to cut, um, let's hear what, here's what we're going to do. 3 8 16 uh, pitch threads. So the major diameter is 0 .3750 and the minor is 3479. Um, for the simplicity of this video, I'm not going to do the minor diameter. We're going to do the old fashioned test fit because not everybody is going to have like a pair of uh, thread pitch gauges or wires or whatever you want to use so <clears throat> you know as long as you're not doing anything uh, super precise you know if you're just say I gotta tighten something down and I want to put a nut on it you know you don't need to be like uh, like when you do a, a rifle receiver and you want to get exact measurements down to the you know one or two ten thousandths of an inch so that's not what I'm going over here today so we're just doing the old-fashioned cut and test, but we'll give you the basic uh, gist of um, cutting these guys down, or making these threads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my shank down here to um, 0.375, and you guys don't need to watch that. It's pretty simple. I'll turn that down, and then uh, we'll continue from there. Alright, so what I have here is my cutoff tool, which I actually just found, like, five minutes before we did this. I, uh, I just moved this lathe down in my basement here about a month ago, and I forgot I had it. It was in my box of extra tools here, so this is going to make my life a whole lot easier. Um, so I have this parting tool set off, even with my uh, live center here, uh, on the same height. I know you can't see it from that angle, but... Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to make a relief cut and so 271 is the total <clears throat> we'll cut eh, we'll go we'll go 30 so I'm going to butt up on my piece here and I'm going to zero my cross light out but uh, I don't have a Actually, I do have a set screw in there, but i got to rebuild my set screw here because somebody put just a machine screw in there, so that's not right. But um, So I'm at 67 there. So we're going to go in. So we're at 67, and I had a little bit on the back end here that uh, didn't get cleaned up yet, so... Got a nice little 
curl on my chip there, around my cutter. Go a little faster than these, but I slow them down. Just what I'm used to, I guess. All right, so I made my relief cut, and I made it a little wider. And, and what I ended up doing was, uh, I just went down. I ended up going right down to where I should be with my thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over to my threading dial, or my do my threading dial, set my gears up, and and get set up to thread here. Alright, so here's our threading dial, and we're just going to make sure our threads are clean and this thing is spinning good. If I can get my wrench on here. Loosen that guy up, and I'm just going to butt, turn it, butt my th uh, gear up in there. I'm not going to jam it in there, and then tighten that up. <clears throat> so then, uh, and then I like to put a little, a little bit of oil on my gear because it's spinning back there and and uh, oil on this thing is great so you know you can never have too much oil protecting all your well you can but all your exterior stuff on your uh, lathe next item of business is our thread pitch so we can get the right um, threads per inch so we're gonna do so our 3816 so our 16 is way over your first column left hand lever B so left hand lever B first column and then I gotta spin my lathe a little bit to, uh, to get it uh, sometimes you gotta finagle your lathe a little bit to get it to spin your gears for you in your gearbox so here we go so it clicked right in place and I'll pop my Pop my back gear back in. Close my cover. All right, so there we're thread up, set up for. Let's just double check here. Sixteen B first row B first row. So there we're good to go. <clears throat> All right, so here's our threading bit. It's a sixty degree, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and get centered on my live center here. And I'm gonna tight tighten her down. So I'm right where I want to be there, and I'm not at all even here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, they ha they make uh, these little fish tails. Whoops! They make fish tails, which I don't have. Uh, today I lost mine when I moved or when I got this thing, so I had one. But um, <clears throat> being that we're not uh, doing super critical threads here, we can just get a rough estimate of where we want to be. Tightening up my life center there again. <clears throat> so one good thing you can go off of is you can kind of go off the side of your compound here. I mean, on mine, it's I know it's perfectly parallel. So I can kind of look at an angle down and see that I am pretty dang close right there. Then I moved it. I'm pretty dang close right there. So what we're going to do is crank it down. I already had my height set. Alright, so now our, our bit is lined up and we're, our height is set. And what I ended up doing is I cut a double cut there so I can stop and I still have room for my uh, bit so I don't hit the shoulder there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to crank in here. And one thing I forgot to mention is you set your compound at, I think the rule is one half of one degree less than the pitch or the angle you're cutting. So we're doing 60. So one half of one less is 29 and a half. <clears throat> so I got this guy set at 29 and a half degrees and we're going to be feeding in this way and what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to zero out just bring it up and touch it there and like I said my uh, dial here is messed up so I'm at 
17 and we're going to feed in and out with our cross feed and we're always going to return to that 7, well in this case a 17 or 0 if you set your 0 and then we'll take the backlash out of this guy and then I'll we'll double check here that we're at uh, see I took the backlash out and I'll change it to 25 so always uh, take your backlash out before you start threading so we're at 25 and this is never going to change on our compound I mean we're never going to back out we're always going to be dialing in on our compound um, and so that so our cross feed always returns to zero or the same number whatever you're set at and then our compound always feeds in so when we're threading we're not feeding the whole bit straight in we're feeding you know obviously we're feeding in this way and what ends up happening is that only this side of our of our bit is going to be cutting the thread we don't want to be cutting our thread on both sides of the V because then we're not going to get as good of a cut or as smooth of a cut so so I got this thing set up and we're going to crank it up here and wait for my number to come around and I didn't quite get it that time so I'll feed my compound in a little bit because I got my cross light set at zero so Come around. And not quite as much as I want it. We're going on a couple of thousands. There we go. You probably can't see it, but I'm getting a super, super, super light little cut there. Throw the half nut, shut it off. So we're doing 16 threads per inch, so I get my little pitch gauge here, 18, 14, 16, and it's probably kind of hard to see, I, I apologize for my crappy cameras with crappy zoom, but there we are around 16, so we double checked around 16. So now, we'll back out, bring it back. Back to 25, I said. I believe I was at. And then we'll feed in. Uh, on these first two cuts, you can go quite a bit more. And then once you get a little deeper in, you want to back off a little bit. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go five thousandths on this first cut. And add a little cut fluid. Not that it is a big deal at this moment, but if our number or mark come around. but it didn't quite engage, so here's our number. So there, I hope you can see, we're getting a, starting to get a good cut. And I'll stop and I'll see if I can zoom this guy in a little bit here. That looks really crappy on my camera, but hopefully it's not as crappy for you guys. 25, feed in another, we'll go another 5. Okay, yeah, we're on the first few cuts here. And you should be able to see that there's a nice, nice cut coming off of there. Feed out, back in, back to zero. We'll go 3,000 this time. I got something rattling on my cover here, but so it's still a pretty light cut, light cut, but it's still cutting a real nice thread. For a half nut, back out. It, we'll let it run through because otherwise we'd screw it up. Back to 25. Yeah. Number. There we go. That's a 
super heavy cut right there. It's actually cutting really good though. So we'll get our little get that out of the way. Don't want to stick your fingers in there. That's a bad, bad idea. X25 will feed in three thousandths. and it's still making a nice clean cut. You just don't want to be taking, like when you're getting in there ways, you don't want to be taking super heavy cuts. I can see this, I got a nice sharp bit and it's actually cutting it instead of tearing it. Sometimes if you have a, a bad, uh, a sharp, I'm sorry, a dull, <laughs> a dull bit or it's positioned incorrectly, you'll get a, a really, uh, you'll get a tear instead of a cut. And that's never good. I actually like to cut stuff. I mean, that's what a lathe is for. <clears throat> Alright, so I have my threads cut down to my minor diameter here. And I'm just going to dress them off a little bit here with the Press the tops off a little bit. I'm gonna take this guy out of here if I want. I don't really need that right now. And if you can see, I'm wearing a watch. I usually don't wear a watch when I'm doing this, but bad idea to wear a watch or a ring even. Stuff can get caught. You never know. You never know. Don't lose a finger or something else. And don't touch while it's spinning. So here we go. I think I'm pretty dang close there. Here's my nut. Here we go. Sorry if you can't see it over here. So it's nice and tight. Doesn't really move. And then I can thread it on all the way, all the way to my threads there. So, well, actually, all the way to the shoulder because I left my my cut here was my minor diameter so so that's gonna be you know it's a nice tight fit that's gonna be more than more than ample for anything you need to do as long as you're not doing you know like super precision work like I said before uh, if you're just doing you know you need a threaded something or another there you go um, I'm pretty positive I could just about guarantee that those aren't gonna be um, spot on to the specs. They're probably going to be a little bit off, but they're going to be pretty dang close. So, so there you go. Not much to it. A little bit of, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, yeah. So there we got some 60 degree threads or 55, whatever you want to do. So it's a little different than doing square threads, but it's it's uh, very similar. So there we go. Alrighty, thanks guys again for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching my videos. It's sweet. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel because I got some cool stuff on there and I'm going to try and get uh, as much cool stuff as I can on there. Um, I'm going to try to do some more gunsmithing stuff, some more gun related stuff here in the future. And um, I don't know, just whatever. If you want me to do something, let me know. Um, so, until then. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell everybody you know, tell Bigfoot if you want, I don't care. Um, till next time, I'll see you later. Thanks.